going on, Jerome's? So the Minnesota Defined Vikings debuted uh, their Winter Warrior uniforms on Thursday, and they are fantastic. They're delightful. Now, the Vikings haven't really revolutionized their their uniforms too much, so this is pretty damn fantastic. Now, I, I know people, some people don't like them. I mean, they look a little Northwestern-y, a little bit of Kansas State uh, adjacent. Uh, I would prefer it if they would have kept with the skull horn font. Uh, but overall, I like the departure. I absolutely love and adore the helmet. L- looks pretty damn good. Long story longer. So Cameron Beasy, uh, Cam Bynum, uh, was one of the uh, w- one of the guys who spearheaded the the leaking uh, on Thursday, which obviously was a concerted move. I mean, the, the the players didn't just have immunity. Be like, ah, we're doing it for clout. Mm. Uh, but he put out on the gram, follow Bynum Faith Foundation, and I'll leak the blackout uniforms next. Eyeball emoji, movie emoji, cry laughing, cry laughing, then cap. So. This could be legit. This could not be legit because he has the cap. And uh, I speak young person now. Uh, and Cam Bees, we need to resign him because he has the Riz. Dead ass. I don't know. But I, I get this entire offseason. I've been trying to put together the pieces. Oh, I should have had the conspiracy thing up. Anyways, but trying to put things together because when the Vikings uh, had their schedule released, uh, there was just a little bit of hint that the Vikings may have uh, a, a, an all-black uniform coming out. So the schedule release, uh, which I feel like the statute of limitations has passed, I didn't like it. I feel like it was some like so last year's with the drone, that was awesome. Friggin' awesome, man. And I, I don't know what happened this year. So, like, TJ Hawkinson pretended to be Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs never went to Iowa. Please. Uh, but they talked about, ooh, the schedule is in night mode. Now, th- there's a couple ways to read this. Number one, the schedule just went from white to black. So it's like, ooh, schedule night mode. But also it says Vikings night mode only available during primetime games week 8 and week 15. So that has nothing to do with the schedule. But the Vikings only have two primetime games between uh, week uh, 8 and 15. So, uh, of course, 15 uh, is going to be the, the crooked Chicago Bears. I should say the 16th. Uh, uh, but uh, the winter whiteout is going to be uh, against the Bears a week 15. And the only other primetime game is Thursday Night Football week 8 uh, at the Rams. And the Rams, I mean, they wear their blue and yellow uh, for their home uniform. So probably wouldn't be a, a blackout uh, in that situation. So absent a game getting flexed, I mean, th- things could change. Or, you know, th- this could have been a reference to... Uh, you know, the, the winter warrior whiteout, but I, I don't see how that's connected at, at all. Now, uh, again, long story longer, uh, the NFL does have that third helmet option rule, but that starts in 2025. Uh, and the Vikings are able to get around that because they're, you know, the throwback helmets that they wear with the bud uniforms are their normal helmets. They just change out the face mask, right? So, and of course, you know, the winter whiteout uniforms are completely a uh, different helmet, uh, but next year the Vikings will be able to add a third helmet to to that. So it, it could be a spot where it, it's very similar to you know, the Vikings winter whiteout over the last two years, where they just have their standard helmet, but it's all white uniform. Uh, so it would be like the uh, the Adrian Peterson on the left, where it's standard purple helmet, but then you got the black uh, uh, jersey and pants. Uh, but then I, I feel like... W- so the left looks a little bit too Raveny, hmm. and the right looks a little bit too much like Mankato State University Community College. So I don't know, but like I said, maybe we're making mountain of a, a molehill, and it, it could be a spot where eventually there will be uh, black uniforms, but just not this year, just because of the lack of standalone uh, games as well as uh, the waiting for one more season for the third helmet rule, but. I mean, it's exactly what per Premier League teams do is every single year they have a different third kit and they slightly tweak their home and away uniforms to sell merch. And people are generally okay with it. And it, it is kind of awesome because then you can have a collection of like throughout the years uh, and stuff like that. But like, like I said, I, I like the change up uh, with the winter whiteout now. The blackout. I, I feel like that's something that Vikings fans have been championing a bit for years uh, at this point. But I guess we'll see. Anyways, your thoughts are thoughts. Will the Vikings actually have uh, you know blackout uniforms this season? And yeah, we'll see. Uh, listen to your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>